Here's a neat little project you can make out of a the rotisserie motor on a microwave oven. It's the one that spins the turntable inside the microwave, the dish that you're putting in there. And it's when you crank it, it's real high voltage. What I have here is three electrolytic capacitors. hooked up in parallel and I got two 10,000 microfarad in parallel with a 2200 microfarad 63 volts and 25 or 35 volts whatever anyway when you crank it up I don't know if you can see the LED with a little potentiometer on it to adjust the voltage on it when you crank this up The LED starts lighting up. And I cranked it about 10, 15 times, maybe, something like that. And it'll last for a while. It's stored up in the capacitors. The capacitors will hold a good charge for a while. And these are not farads, they're microfarads. So if you had some farad capacitor, like 10 to 100, it probably last a long, long time. One little tiny LED, a white one, and an adjustable pot. That you can tweak and get it to go brighter and brighter. So you can get it to go real bright. Then it'll burn it out though, but it's using up the voltage faster when you do that. So now that's, see it's going down. But if you set it at a low setting, crank it up, and you can monitor the voltage with your multimeter. I put about 5 to 6 volts DC in here, because it'll just, when you keep cranking up, it'll just use it up faster anyway. It's a good emergency little light, you know, alternative lighting. And it, you can add parallel LED white lamps in there, white LEDs, and adjust the voltage on it through the potentiometer here. There's a little tiny blue pot. It's a 10 turn. I got a bridge rectifier connected to the DC output on it, positive, negative. I've got the AC input from the microwave rotisserie motor going to the AC side of the bridge rectifier so you're going to have a full wave bridge rectifier on there to have a good good amount of energy going in there you don't have to crank it very hard either because these magnets in there there's, you can feel the pulses they're real close to each other as you turn the crank and that'll charge you just by going like that too anyway this is a good elect electrolytic capacitor uh, set up for a one LED lamp if you want to call it that LED and you can also attach other things to here there's positive and negative but if you do it here there's no potentiometer it'll burn it up it'll use up the energy faster when you if I touch these together see it just kills the lamp real quick so crank it back up I took all the energy out that time, so take a little bit more cranking to get it going. And really, you don't have to turn it very fast. It'll start coming up here pretty soon. There it is. And that'll last a good five to ten minutes, just like that. Depends on where you set the potentiometer. You can make it dimmer and it'll last longer because it won't consume the energy as fast. Anyway, this is my project for today. Today being, uh, oh, it's March, March 11th at about 11.50 a.m. 
I call this like an emergency hand crank LED generator for emergency lighting, I guess, or whatever.